it says a car with some MSM. It's gonna label things. Accelerate from up oh, zero to up. Oh, so I guess this is giving me some kind of change in velocity of that in this amount of time. Round what is its uh, acceleration? Excel oh, um, so it's a kind. Of, this is a kind of a reading check question because um, you are looking at this information that's given uh, mass, velocity, or change of velocity and time. And uh, oh, I guess they're even going in the order. So from the information here, you can say that my acceleration is equal to uh, the definition of acceleration, especially average acceleration, change of velocity over change of time. Um, and if you want instantaneous acceleration, you take the derivative. I guess the only potentially challenging thing about this is it's giving you the velocity numbers in kilometers per hour, and they want the acceleration in meters per second. So there's a unit conversion involved. Uh, let me show you a shortcut. Now, I do want to caution you that you should learn how to do this by hand. Um, but I know that I know how to do this by hand. So I'm just going to use this shortcut as a time-saving measure, which is that Wolfram Alpha is a calculator that is unit aware. So, um, so you know, if I wanted to 90 divide by 13, yeah, you can do that. Any calculator can do that. But what any scientific calculator can do is figure out this answer. 90 kilometers per hour divided by 13 seconds. And Wolfram Alpha has a bit of a natural language processing that will try to interpret what I said. So look at the input interpretation. Make sure it understood you correctly. You might have understood KPH as something else. Who knows? Um, okay, 90 kilometers per hour, good. 13 seconds, good. And it gives me some answers in kilometers per second squared, okay, or kilometers per hour per second, okay. The answer I want, I, there it is, 1.923 meter per second squared. So that's my answer. And sometimes if uh, um, the unit that you're looking for isn't in the list that they're giving you, you can also say this in meter per second squared. Uh, that will prioritize whatever you need it is that you actually want the answer in. So here, yeah, give me that. So 1.923. And just make sure Ofram Alpha did its job correctly. Um, and once you have the acceleration, then this is the subject of what we are covering in this uh, chapter or, or the, the, this past week. Net force is equal to mass times acceleration. So you have acceleration, you have mass, multiply, that will give you the force. Oh, can I do this in my head? Um, let me give it a try. So it ought to be two, zero. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have tried. Uh, uh, no, I think it's a two, one. Uh, one. I, I don't know. Um, five. <laughs> we'll give it a try, and if uh, I got it wrong, then I'll just do it on a calculator. Okay, good. <laughs> I noticed that it's uh, 11 times that, and that's the kind of multiplication if you learn a couple mental method tricks, you can do it in your head. All right. And, uh, 